Greetings ASA members. Three big issues facing educational leaders in Arizona right now. The A through F accountability system, what's going to happen. The Department of Education's ESSA plan, where are we with that? How will it be improved and implemented? And finally, the academic standards revisions. Just those three among, I know, a multitude of other things. Let's talk about those three. At the state board meeting today, this is today, Monday, the a 3 accountability system generated a great deal of discussion. The Phoenix Chamber of Commerce introduced a document with their views. The Arizona Charter Schools Association introduced a document with their take. And I've attached both of those documents for those of you who want to read everything. The board's discussion ranged widely. Dr. Rottweiler, he's the president of Cochise Community College, he strongly, strongly pushed for proficiency, advocating for as much as 40% of the entire grade to be based on proficiency test scores. A couple other board members said, we must have character education. I'm trying to think of what assessment we give that measures character education. and whose values are being, but I won't go into that. Another talked about the citizenship test that every uh, high schooler has to pass to graduate. Should we include that? No, my comment. If your blood pressure can tolerate more details, you can read my attached meeting notes. The board finally did make a detailed recommendation to the ad hoc committee. Now, the A through F ad hoc committee will meet five or six times through October, November, and the beginning of December. This means we're not likely to get a final decision on A through F accountability until the December meeting. That's half the school year. Okay, regarding the draft ESSA plan, if you have read the document, some of us actually have, and wish to give ADE some input, there are online channels available, but there's also the ASA Makisa sponsored event on October 12th. That's a half day event. Many people are going to gather with ADE personnel and review in detail the various sections of the plan and provide ADE with feedback. Your presence would certainly be welcome. If you didn't get an invitation and want one, send me an email and I'll make sure that that happens. Regarding the new standards, the new academic standards, some dedicated ASA members have been analyzing the changes and ASA will provide direct feedback to the department on those changes and we'll make that feedback available to you members as well. A few upcoming events, of course, the Superintendent's Higher Education Conference in Prescott, October 23rd through 25th. Before that, the Helios Latino Children's Summit here in Phoenix, that's Friday, October 21st. The Oslas Latino Administrators Conference, October 30th and 31st. The upcoming Principals A Plus Symposium, that's November 2nd. And the Legislative Workshop, November 18th. I know all of you are working hard every day to help children succeed in Arizona schools. But try, if you can, to take a moment to make your voice heard at some of these events. We need you. Arizona needs you.